Hey all, so I'm going to be playing through levels that use the 12 items you can see on the screen. Now before we begin, some of us decided to make levels that were complete and utter garbage this round. The reason we did this, some of the levels were proving to be extremely difficult and not that enjoyable. Most players could not really do them, so this round we decided to have a bit of payback and make some garbage. Now, the level you can see on the screen is what I made, and this is hideous. Basically, the level just repeats like this. Yeah, just repeats like that. You can see my high quality creating skills here. Then when you reach the end, you have a choice of four boxes. Only one of them will lead to the next section. The other three will lead back to the start and where well, if you go back to the start, you can't beat the level in time. Yeah, this really is hot garbage. So I play this for a few seconds, or maybe a bit longer. Let's go back to the start. So someone found a cheese in multiplayer, you can actually bounce yourself up to those blocks. In single player though, no chance. Yes, this is what you're going to do. Just... Get through. Now quite a few players actually completed this level. I also asked everyone to boo the stage. Amazingly, the stage got four likes. Two of them from the challenge makers and two random likes. So yeah, it just repeats like this. I'm going to delete this level as well once the challenge is over. It's had around 30 plays and the majority of those plays were boos as I was asking everyone to boo the stage. Once I delete the stage, my maker points should go up. And this is kind of what I wanted to test with this stage, to see what happens if I delete a stage with a lot of booze on it. Yes, yeah, so it just repeats like that, and then... Eventually... It's a long way. Eventually I get to here. Then you choose one of the boxes. By that time, you'll be low on time anyway. you have under 100 seconds. Just for the sake of this, I'm picking the wrong one. It's actually the second one from the top. So let's say you have about 80 seconds left at this point, and you pick the wrong one, you're back at the start. With no way to complete the level from here. Yeah, this really is... Hot garbage. Now the final section of the level, I put some crates in. The reason I put crates in is because you have a good chance of getting soft locked if you're not careful. I put a few extra lives there as well. If you're really careful you won't get soft locked, but it can happen and that's intentional. They're being really careful here. There we go. So that's the level I made. All right, now we're actually gonna move on to the challenge levels. I'm not really sure what to expect here, but I know there might be quite a bit of raging. So be warned and let's begin the challenge. So here we go with the very first level submitted for the challenge, well, the exception of my own one, Hot Garbage Speedrun. The yeah, intentional spelling mistakes in the title, 10 second world record, so I'm kind of interested to see what this level's like. I'm a little bit nervous as well, to be honest, as I don't think this is going to be very enjoyable, but we will see. All right, here we go. It doesn't want to load. Oh, there we go. Now it's loaded. Doesn't want to load the level. Right, what we... And what? 
Okay. Hold on a sec, I need to think about this. That start looks a lot harder than it probably is. It says avoid the warp box, I'll give it a like anyway before I begin trying to actually clear the level. I'm still trying to work this out. What is that? What on earth is going on with those warp boxes? Right. Do any of those boxes actually lead to near the end? Let's have a quick look. Try the other one quickly. There's a locked one there as well. Surely you could wall jump at that point. Hold on, I have an idea. Long jump. Get into that and then wall jump. Okay, ah, oh, can't quite wall jump quick enough. We can nip through that gap like that, that's easy enough. Oh my goodness, look at those Bowsers. What, you, you have to be, oh no. No, that's not, what's Bowser doing there? Oh man, right. I think I see how to do this now. That was actually a really good attempt. There's a locked box right at the end though. That'll take you back to the start. Easy, there we go. Look at that, the Piranha Creeper blocked me right at the end. This isn't actually a bad level, considering it's meant to be a garbage level. I'm actually quite enjoying this. It's short. That's for sure. You know, it does look a bit of a mess with all those crates all over the place. This is surprisingly enjoyable. Go, go, go! Oh man, that part, how do you do that? That's the most annoying part of the level. Oh, you, all you've got to do is hit it, surely. Give it a whack with the cat suit. Right, come on. Yeah, come on. Straight into the Piranha Creeper. Oh, that's easy. There we go. No problems beating that, once I worked out how to do it. Well, that was surprisingly enjoyable, actually. Considering what the level looks like. But can I get anywhere near that world record? That's the question. We'll see what sort of time I can get at the level. <laughs> Alright, so here's the next level. Choose your ending 12 IC. Now, this is not a hot garbage level. Well, hopefully not anyway. It wasn't intended as a hot garbage level, I don't think. A very simple level. Three choices for the ending. Well, this should be interesting. Here we go. Alright. Oh, that was good. I lost the cat suit. Oh my, oh my, you know what, just start again. That's the worst start I think I've managed on a level, just losing the cat suit immediately. Okay, I'm, suck. Right, let's just be more careful.
Okay, here we go. Underwater section. This section is pretty straightforward, just avoid everything. One up mushroom there, I'm not gonna get that. You can always just swim through actually, well, until I hit that piranha creeper you could. Easy, well, mid there, let's go with easy. You know, it's could be, it could be challenging. Any? Oh my goodness! That doesn't look too difficult, actually. Or not the other routes are like. I'm interested to find out now. All right, so I'm going to play this a couple more times just to see what the other routes are like, as I just mentioned. I gave it a like before I do that. So this will help me with speedrunning the level as well, so I know which route's the fastest. Right, here we go. Only problem is getting back to that section. Wow, how did I... How did I actually take damage at that point? I was a little bit unlucky. Alright, let's have a look at the next one. What's medium like. The thing is you have to swim further to get to medium so it's probably not going to be faster. It wasn't particularly difficult though. Yeah by the looks of it the easiest route will be the fastest. Let's do it once more. Let's have a look at the hard route. This is probably where I'm going to die horribly but never mind. I need to do something about that Piranha Creeper, but I'm trying to jump past it. Oh, I see. The cat suit makes them turn around, doesn't actually defeat them. That's where I'm going wrong. Finally, we get to look at the hard route. I'm pretty sure this would be the slowest method through the level. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this you got to get... The four... Oh my goodness. There's a lot going on here. Doesn't actually look particularly difficult though. Definitely harder than the other routes, but. Uh oh, Bowser's coming to get me! Well, I've managed the four coins, I've just got to avoid being killed by Bowser, basically, now. There we go, done it! Perfect, now let's bring a crate to the end of the level, why not? Nice extra lives for the hard route. And there we go, top of the flagpole! Yeah, I enjoyed that stage a lot. The easiest route is definitely going to be the fastest, so that's the route I'm going to go for on my speedrun attempt, which I'll do now.
Alright, so here's the next level 12 I see Rise Up Nose Dive. Rise Up, get the coins so you can dive down. 4 times 4 equals 12. Um, no, 4 times 4 equals 16, not 12. Right, anyway, let's get on with the level. Here we go. Alright, so, that, oh my, that was a bit of it unexpected. Right, so we're going to that. So we've got to reach the top without getting killed by Bowser. This is like a pretty straightforward get the coins level. Oh no, maybe not. Bowser's being an absolute pain. I like the way this level looks. I've always liked the sky theme with 3D World. So, um... Need to think about this. It's probably a lot easier than it looks. Right. There we go. That's good going. I've got three coins. That's the fourth one. Okay, that's safe if you fall down. I thought I'd died then. But, no, that's all good. Right, so I've got to get up to there. Okay, I've got to get up to there without dying. There we go, done it. What's down there? I don't dare to find out, so I'm going to go straight in the box. And there we go, beating it on the first attempt. Pretty happy with that result. That was a pretty straightforward level. The only difficult part of the level was the room with the Bowser. I give it a like. All right. So now to try and get near to that record, 50 seconds. That should be manageable, sort of. We'll see as I attempt my speed run.
All oh, right, so here's the next stage, Mr. Lava Lava. Find and collect all five red coins to gain the key to the exit. Okay, that doesn't sound too difficult with 16 clears and just over 5% clear rate. All oh, right, here we go. All right. So there's the first coin. Wait a second. Ah, I see. Cross on the crates. So I'm trying to work out. I guess you go to that at the end. I'm gonna guess there's something. No, there's nothing down here, or is there? I'm not sure now. I can't see far enough to know if there's anything down there or not. So I'm going to have to just move on. That's pretty straightforward. Okay, oh! I wasn't expecting the crates to fall down. Okay, so the lava rises to there. Okay, well you've got to be really fast to do that part. Okay, so I'm going to answer the question of what was actually down at the other part. Well, actually I'm not, because I'm going to mess it up. Right, I'll give it a like anyway. Before I continue. Right. Stop messing up and actually do the level would be a good idea. I want to see what's down here, basically. Just gonna wait for the lava. Oh, there's crates. Okay. So there is a section down there. The rising lava makes this really difficult, though, as it rises really fast. There's crates there, you've got a bit more time than you think. There we go. Right. There we go. carefully back up then. We're getting there. It's a bit slow, but we are getting there. Right. There's one there that's easy enough to get. This one here was a little bit difficult last time. You don't have long to get it. Safe there. Right, now just wait here. Piranha Creep is in a really weird place. You may have just seen. Right, so it's up to there. I've got four coins, I need to be really careful now. That's the easiest way of getting out. Ah, I see the last coin. Right, there we go. I'm back to the start now, I guess. Did I say hi? 
random high with the crates. I love it. That's <laughs> just so random. Right. Gotta be careful now so I don't lose the key. There we go. And there we go, I've beaten it. Brilliant. Yeah, that was a cool idea. Anything I will say about the levels, the rising lava did slow down the pace of some of the sections of the level. Overall that was really good. I'm glad to have beaten that, I wasn't sure if I was going to and I made all those mistakes. So I'm going to try and get a good run on the level now. See if I can get close to the record. Alright, and here we go with the next level. I'm not sure how to say that. Dodecatastic Castle? Something like that, anyway. Right. Only seven clears. It might be quite difficult. 500 attempts, but we'll see. I mean, I've done that sort of clear rate before in five to ten minutes. Let's play the level. Right. Got to be careful as a piranha creep at the top. There's a cat bell here. Let's see what to do here. Cross on the crates. Right, here we go. Perfect. That's not so good. Straight in the lava. That's a really small jump there. Now let's get the cat bell again. Nothing too difficult until that little jump there. It seems really difficult. Put a crate in the lava, that would help. Well, it would have done anyway. Uh oh. Right, that should make this a bit easier. Try to do this part. That's really difficult. I jumped so small. Yeah. 
Okay, that's alright. There's another cat bell up here. Or at least there was. There we go. Right. I don't know how I can avoid him from there. Get another cat bell. That's... Yeah, you need crates to get past that part. Right, here we go again. Let's put that crate there and then get the other crate. That's alright, that's alright. At least I'm still alive. That's all that matters. Right, okay. Ow! I'm not really sure how the Piranha Creeper died, actually. Oh, no. Oh, that was really unlucky. I was having a good attempt there. That was a pretty good attempt anyway, and then it just went a bit wrong. There's plenty of power-ups. It's just the tight jumps that are the problem on this level. Well, he's gone further than usual. The Prana Creeper didn't get that far last time, I'm sure. Right. I can't avoid that. There's nothing I could do against him. Well, I've broken the crate this time. Right, so that's placed roughly the right place. Now we try. That's so At one part, the gap's just too small to get through. Be an easy way of doing this. Maybe a long jump. Crate there. Yeah, long jump sort of works. Then the Piranha Creeper pushes you out. Cat bell there, but I'm not sure I can get it because I can't ground pound while big. I'm just going to go for it, I think. There's plenty of power ups on the level. Just they're all in such awkward places, I don't think I can get to them. This isn't a bad attempt, actually. I'm doing better than I thought I'd do. It's a little bit chaotic, this level. There's a lot going on. Cat bell there. What? Where's the bowels that come from? Or meows, or should I say? Right, it's getting a bit chaotic now. Oh my goodness, I've done it! I wasn't expecting the level to sort of end at that point. That's a pretty good level. It's just that one little jump that caused all the problems. The rest of it was relatively straightforward. Give the stage a like. And now to speed run the level, 53 seconds. That's manageable. I'm hoping to get around the 45 mark, but we will see as I attempt my speed run.
All right, so here's the next level. Don't eat cheese before bed. Interesting advice. Quite a low clear rate, but five clears. All right, let's see how I get on. Okay, so this might be quite slow paced at the start. I'm going to wait for the blocks to change and avoid that giant monster. Right, careful. Oh, there we go. That wasn't that difficult. I'm not sure how you're supposed to be able to hit the pink blocks at the top like I did. But you've got to wait for it to change. Like with this one. There we go. Right, and again, I'm going to have to wait for it to change. There we go. Brilliant. Right. It's a bit slow paced. Thought I might get in problems there. But now I'm alright. Oh my goodness. Right, there we go. We're all okay, but um, how am I going to get back up? I think you're supposed to go up there. Now I've killed the piranha creepers. Yeah, that's a major problem, actually. If you kill the piranha creepers, you're soft lock. Yeah, that needs a fix. I'll give it a like at this point. Give it another go. Man, what happened there? I just fell straight in the lava. Right, back at this point. And this was the problem part. So I guess I just need to get onto that block up there. Absolute insanity, this part. Right, okay. No, 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 no. Wait, how are you supposed to do that? That just seems impossible. Right, here we go. We'll try again. So, how to do this part? Something like that. I'm not really sure how I did that, to be honest. Right, I can't see what's below me. What? I can't see what's... Oh, man. Come on. I don't know where I'm supposed to drop down. I mean, there's something there you can just about see. There we go. You do not want blind drops with a Bowser. Put it that way. I'm wondering if this is one of the hot garbage stages. I don't think it is. Oh, there we go. I've got all five coins. I just need to get up to the block. Hit. Taking out the <laughs> look at Bowser, he just fell off the the blocks. We're trying to climb up. Right, 
That's the idea, anyway. There we go. Right, Cat Bell. And then a bow's a right um Problem is now I've taken out the piranha creeper and now what was it to do? Okay, it's possible to get back up there, it's just very difficult. Right, let's get away from this Bowser. Oh, there we go, I've done it. Brilliant. Alright. Now on the bad level, it's a bit too chaotic for my liking, and there's one part, as you saw, I got completely stuck because I killed the Piranha Creepers, so I'm probably not going to go back to this stage to speedrun it. Overall, it was pretty fun, though. It's just I had quite a few problems with it, as you saw. So we're going to move on at this point to the next level. Alright, well, this is the next 12 item challenge level one screen puzzle. Not too complicated, but not too easy either. I will just say I suck at one screen puzzles. I generally suck at puzzle levels altogether. So I'll give this a go though. Got quite a high clear rate, so hopefully I'll be able to work it out, but we will see. Right, what do we got? Okay, so it's auto scroll at the start. I'm guessing I just picked up one up mushrooms. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I'm a little bit confused. I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that. I accidentally sort of. What? An earth? Right, well there's the opening. The random piranha creeper just sort of destroys itself. Well, that's not too difficult. Just destroyed the crate. I'm not sure if this is a puzzle, I mean... Coins look pretty easy to get. Major problem seems to be the bullet bills destroying the crates, actually. Right, that's three done. Now... Something with the crate, maybe. The other option would be to get that Koopa Trooper that I kicked at the bottom, but I've no idea where that is now. And it'd just be pure luck. I think what you actually have to do is use the bullet bills to destroy the Piranha Creepers first. I'll give it a like. Sort of level that if you make a mistake, you get soft locked. So, I think I've got it. Just stay over here then. So you take those crates, you can't beat it. I'm gonna get rid of the other one as well, I think. Oh, there we go. Now I just need to repeat what I've already done.
I'm not going to rush that. we go horribly wrong if I try and rush. You're having a laugh. It's blocked me. Look at that. Come on. I had the level beaten. And then it's done that. That's completely outside of my control as well. That was really unlucky. I'll do this again. So this time I need to make it so the crates don't block me. No, no, that's no good. I see exactly how to do this, I just can't quite do it. Right, that's a better position, but the issue now is, can I get, I don't know, yeah, I can now, right, that's alright, I just don't mess it up, yeah, that's the tricky bit. Right, I think I've got it this time, unless I mess up the Piranha Creeper. There we go, now to get in that block. That should be the end of the level, as it's a one screen puzzle, but we will see... There we go, done it, brilliant. That's an interesting idea. The major problem with that level was that if you make a mistake, you can quite easily get soft locked and forced to restart. So that's pretty fun. I'm glad I was able to work that out. I'm not going to be speedrunning this level though. I mean, you can't really speedrun a puzzle level. So I'm gonna move on to the next one now. All right, so here's the next level, the one up road. Only eight clears so fast, this might be quite difficult. A 38 second world record, just over 1% clear rate. Let's see how I get on, here we go. All right. Okay, so that's, that's really hard job. I think I see how to do that jump. Gotta wait for the bullet bill launcher to come down. Right, so. Hmm. That's a very difficult start to the level. Very, very difficult. Give it a like, anyway. You can't do that jump unless you wait for the bullet bill launcher to drop down, so here we go. It's still incredibly difficult. Look at all the deaths at that point. There we go. Right. There's a warp box. What? And 
earth? Is this a hot garbage level? That wall box needs to know where, and at this point you're meant to... What's there to do? No idea. I have absolutely no idea what to do. Wait, can you go through the crates? You definitely don't do it like that. Just went straight into the lava. That's it. There we go. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. It's still pretty tough though. Oh man, I'll go slow. I'm not going to beat on this attempt anyway. Let's see what this warp box leads to. Um, I'm confused by the warp boxes. They seem to just lead backwards. Where's the end of the level? There we go, beating it! Yeah. No, I haven't. Right. I've got to get that one-up mushroom. The warp boxes seem to be decoys. So, how, is there an easier way of doing that? Hey, this first part's so hit difficult. That's that's it. Just don't. Just grab the crate. How easy was that? Wait a sec. Got to get two out of the way. Otherwise, the one-up mushroom. Oh, what? The one-up mushroom's gone down. Oh, did I just accidentally find a cheese? Hold on. I think I may have worked something out. I don't know. I think I might have accidentally found a cheese. I'm not sure about this, but I'm going to try. So if I just take out one of the crates, then the one up mushroom will bounce back and then drop down here, and I can grab it and then take out the other crate. That's the idea, anyway. I don't know if it's going to work, but. I'm going the warp box and then just well cheese it. See the one up mushroom drops down at this point now. There you go, I've got the clear condition and now Interesting. I th think I might be able to do this now. I don't know. This is not the intended method, for sure, but it's the method that definitely seems easiest. The problem is, at this point, you can't get through there, so you have to go into the warp block. I wonder if the crate will respawn if I go backwards. I wonder if there's any way of putting the crate underneath. Wait a sec, I think. I may have done something here. I'm close to cheesing this. I'm very, very close. Okay, that definitely wasn't the way to cheese it, but... You see what I'm trying to do?
Look at that. Oh, and I might. I just pulled off the impossible here. No. Okay. It's unfortunate that you don't have time to get into the other warp box in that attempt anyway. Otherwise it would have made this bit a lot easier with still having the cat suit. But I might be able to do it without the cat suit. I don't know. We got 10 seconds left. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I definitely cheesed the level there. There's no way you were supposed to do the level like that. But it got the level beaten. Alright, I'm going to see if I can improve my time and see if I can find any more cheese in the level. If I can, I'll hopefully be able to claim the world record on this. Alright, so here's the next level 12 ICR5 3 Cooper Riddles with a 20 second world record. So, this level looks like it has a normal ending and a true ending to it. I'll probably just go for the normal ending to start. If the level's pretty easy, I'll try and get the true ending as well. Let's play, here we go. All right. I would have thought at this point you just have to fire the Cooper shell down like that. Oh, I've died. Oops. Wasn't concentrating. Oh, interesting. Well, that's. Opened up. Ah, I see. Right. There's quite a lot of enemies there. Give it a like anyway. Oh, so you can jump straight over that. Let's do it the fast way. Oh, not that fast. Trying to creepers get oh, and that thing gets you as well. Lots of warp boxes over there. I'm gonna ignore those for the sake of this. Man, I find this really difficult. Sure, all you've got to do at that point is just wait until enemies run out of the way. Just want to beat the level first, but this part causes me quite a few problems, as you can see. Oh, he's jumped the other way this time. Right, let's think. Is there an alternative method? Oh, 
Oh, that's a bit strange. Is that meant to be like a reset box or something? Yeah, I'm guessing they're reset boxes. Ah, oh, so was that part. It's got to be an easier method beating that part of the level. Okay, but he's jumped the other way, so I can get the craze now. There we go. Alright. So that was the normal method through the level. I'm now going to try and beat it by getting all the coins. So here we go. Right, so I managed to work this one out. Pretty straightforward, just throw the Cooper shell down. Right, the second one, I guess you just need another Cooper shell. A lot of them now, right, okay. Oh my, look at the bounce on that Cooper shell, did you all see that? Cooper got taken out by the bullet bill launcher. Right. That's straightforward. This should be straightforward, but I keep doing stupid things, so... Here we go. Right. I can't see there being anything too difficult about this. Just the case of bouncing the shell. Not being killed by all the Koopa Troopers in the process. Oh, right. There we go. It's, it's got the coin. I see where there's warp boxes now. In case you accidentally mess this up, basically. Look what's going on with all those Cooper Troopers. So many of them. This is just timing, basically. Oh, did that work? No. Oh! What? Okay. I think I might have messed it up. Yeah, that was quite difficult. Right, you got warp boxes anyway. It's not quite at the highest point, it's more of the lower point. Really difficult though. <laughs> the Cooper Troopers, they're just running off the edge. Try an alternative method. Okay, that was rubbish. I think the Cooper Troopers are actually completely stuck now. Oh, that worked. Almost. Where is the coin? Right, it's over there. I think the Piranha Creeper probably wasn't out far enough. 
Right. There we go, look at that. That was skill. Well, actually it wasn't, but it's pure luck. There you go, so I've beaten it the intended method. I've played this level quite a lot, so I'm not going to do a speedrun as well. It's a cool idea. I like the idea of having two different endings to the level. That did take me ages to do the alternative method, but that was a cool level. I think possibly force the player to do those three puzzles rather than have them optional. It make the level a little bit more challenging. That's just my personal opinion. All right, let's move on to the next level. All right, so here's the next level submitted for the challenge Mario's Big Marathon 12IC. 10.63% clear rate, 15 clears, a world record of just over one minute. Hopefully this will be reasonably straightforward. Here we go. Right. Let's have a cat bell and a warp block right at the start. Oh my goodness. Well, they just go like that, so what are you supposed to do now? Hit them. Yeah, it seems like you've got to be a bit careful here. But right, I'm wondering if I can get up there using a wall jump. Oh, wait a sec, there's a block. I didn't even see that. Right, so... You don't really do a lot in this section. It's just changing blocks. Oh. Well, there's the three coins. That was easy enough. Oh, man. Right, there's the locked... Warp block. I think I get. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, there he is. I thought I could hear a Bowser, and I can. Go, go in the lava, you know. I know you want to. He did. Oh, he's out in the lava again. Oh man. Jump quickly! Well, that was lucky. Oh no. Oh no. Oh dear. Well, I have the right idea anyway. Right, here we go. One of the problems I have seen with the levers is if you miss one of the coins. If you do that, then you've got a bit of a problem. Other thing is, I can't see this section being possible without the cat suit. Not really sure what the point of this section is. It's a bit slow paced, as you can see. It's just not really anything. So the three coins have been obtained again. Now for the tough part, getting past this. It's all about timing. Yeah, nothing too... Oh, dear. I was saying nothing too difficult there, but then I nearly fell off the edge. And again, I'm rushing. Right. The problem at that point is I couldn't see where you were supposed to go, but I managed to survive anyway. Don't know why it's done a stupid jump. Mario, come on. I guess. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Ooh, there's a lot of spam here. Look at all those enemies. I need to get out of Bowser as well? Come on. It's a little bit much. Right, okay, I'm still alive though. It's alright, it's alright. Right. 
Why two back? Come on. You can't even go back now. I've done it, I've done it. Brilliant. There we go. So that could be an interesting one to speed run. There's a lot going on at the end as you saw. I thought that was pretty fun. Give it a like. So let's see if I can improve on that time. One minute eight's the world record. My time's two minutes six. Okay, here we go. Let's see what sort of time I can get. Right, and here's the next level, Castle Wreckers. We've just over 4% clear rate and 9 clear so far. Let's see how I get on with the level. Here we go. Labelled as standard and a speed run. Oh. Okay, so we have Rising Lava. We have a block there. Oh. Oh. Careful to get rid of the Piranha Creeper. Right, so... That was a little bit dangerous. They're all going to fall down, those Bullet Bill launchers, surely. Right, we're good. We're okay so far. No, 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 that jump was really bad. Right, let's go again. A bit more careful this time. So, oh, what on earth? That gap's a bit on the small side. Try again. I'm not sure about all the holes in the in the ground. That's a bit strange. You can see what I mean by that. I guess the idea is the, the sort of style of the level to make it look a bit chaotic maybe? I'm not sure but just something I have noticed. I mean, like this part here, there's lots of holes in it. Anyway, we're going to move on from that. Just mention that before we continue. I'm not sure how to do this part. Seems very difficult. 
level's been pretty straightforward up until this point. Right, okay, we're good. Lava comes up quite a long way. Ah, there's a block. Brilliant. This section, those winged Coopers are really weird. May I just add. They've all ended up in the lava now. Cooper Trooper in the face. I know there's power-ups, but this level is really dangerous for this section, should I say. Oh my! Ah, that nearly got me. I'm supposed to get past Bowser. I'm gonna go for it. Come on, let's go! I've done it. Brilliant. So that was a slightly strange level, if I'm being honest. That was kind of fun. I think I could speed run that. It's gonna be quite tricky to get a good time. I'll give it a like. See if I can get near to that 59 second world record. Alright, so here's the next level. Wet, dry, piranha, panic. 24 clear, 16% clear rate. Hopefully nothing too difficult here. Here we go. Oh. Okay, so it starts underwater. Oh, it looks like the whole level might be underwater. Ah, oh, so you have rising water, rising falling water. I'm not sure if the rising water makes it easier or not. I guess it does to a certain extent. Right, we'll jump up. Ooh. Nearly jumped straight into that. I wonder if you need the coins to beat the level. Now I'm just going to try and beat the level without the coins first. That might just be an optional route. I don't know yet. But it's like I'm getting the coin there. Anyway. I'll get the coins. Go on. Okay, I could be in for a bit of a problem here. Now, if I carefully down... That's it, I didn't take damage. Okay, 
like I did take damage at that point. So there's a locked block down there, so I'm probably going to need all five coins. That piranha creeper. Well, so I think that's the locked block over here. So I now need one more coin. Should be somewhere over here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I found the coin. I'm getting out of the way. Piranha creeper near. Oh no, no, no. Oh, that was really close. Okay, that one stopped anyway. Oh no, 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 no. That was. Man. Right, we have the coins done. Now I've just got to get back to the block without losing the key. That's it, I've done it. There we go. Nothing too difficult there. A few near misses. That was a cool level. A very simple, straightforward concept to use there. Often that's what makes the better levels rather than doing something overly complicated. So I'll give it a like. Now I'm going to try and improve my time, which might be quite hard. It's not really the sort of level that's easy to speed run, but I will give it a go. Right, so here's the next level. Do not play this garbage. Well, I'm going to be playing this garbage. Oh boy, this one could be fun. I did warn you there would be some garbage levels during this, and this is going to be one of them. All right, here we go. Let's just get on with this. Let's get this over with. Love the spelling of the title. Not even any capital letters in that title. Oh my goodness. Well, interesting. Oh, I guess this is like something I'd make. It's good to see Bowser can't actually get up there because I keep throwing <laughs> <Look at this. laughs> Unlucky Bowser, you can't get up here. You're going to fire a rotten sword. 
Hey, I can't get up there, so I'm gonna fire fireballs at you to kill you. Yeah, great! Thank you, Bowser. Right, let's try a different route. That's the same route, isn't it? Yeah, let's try the, I wanna try the other route. I'm gonna give it a like anyway, even though this probably is gonna be hideous. Right, so this is the other route. Right, is that even possible? Hold on. I'm gonna go up. Well, I'm gonna try and go up anyway. There we go. Maybe I just cheese it. There's nothing up there. What is the point of this route? So you put this route in here which leads to absolutely nowhere. Over here. Yeah, that's, that's completely impossible, so I'm not really sure what the point of that section is. I'm going to try this one here. Oh, there's coins over here. No! What did that... I wasn't expecting that. Right, well... That looks like the most promising route. What on earth? It's labelled it as Auto Mario and Music. These are the same tags I use for my level. Alright, so that leads to nowhere. I'm going to try this route. This looks like the most promising route out of all of them, so... Right. Oh man, that wasn't a bad effort actually. I think this has to be the route. So let's try and beat it now. I'm not sure if that final coin is even possible to get so... The Bowser is really annoying, I will just add. I think the Bowser wings as well, just to be even more annoying. Bowser is relentless. I can't see. It's a shame. Oh, look at that. Look at that soft lock. I'm confused by this level. I have no idea how you're supposed to beat it. So the route I just went isn't correct. So let's try... <sighs> Nothing under this. No root over. Oh! This is annoying. Hold on, hold on, is that cheese? What on earth? The Bowser gets you right at the start. I mean, you can almost make it up there. Yeah, 
Bowser's the most annoying part. Why don't anyway you can kill Bowser with craze? Alright, just for the sake of this, I'm going to try and kill Bowser because he's really annoying. Or not. I need room to be able to get out of the way at this section, so. Yeah. 18 second world record. Let's just think about it then. The world record's 18 seconds. There's the ending. There's nothing under there. Let's see if I can work this out. Can't be that difficult. Paul's levels are normally pretty easy. World record's 18 seconds, so... Right, I think the route that seems the most plausible is the one in here. Wait a second, go back, and go back, down the bottom left. Right, I think we might have worked it out. Hold on. We'll see. Wait a second, can you just... Oh! Oh, interesting. Hold on. So you can just drop through. You probably don't have to do most of this level. What's down here? One random block, right. Well, I want to go through the gap. Hold on. Let me test out this idea before I rage quit the level. I don't want to rage quit quite yet. Right, so the idea is to drop down here. There's a block, there we go. That's gotta be the block you need to get to. Right, we have it worked out. Well, maybe. Yeah, so we gotta do is wait for the spam to disappear, then get on that block down there. Ah, oh, come on, Mario, what are you doing? You're straight in the lava. Yeah, I know I'm spending a bit longer on this level than I intended, but I know how to beat it. Just, just can't quite manage it because of all the spam and the rubbish. There we go, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's it, there we go, easy. 
Well, that one definitely was a level. That's for sure. Wow. I'm not sure what to say about that. That was definitely an experience, that's for sure. Right, I'm not going to speed run that one for obvious reasons. Let's move on to the next level. Right, so here's the next stage. 12 I see as fast as a cheetah. Described as auto-scroll garbage. Interesting. Important to collect the five key coins, so I'll try and do that. Here we go. Auto scroll short and sweet. Oh, fast auto scroll. Right, here we go. Yeah, that's quite hard. Let's see if I can get this one beaten. Got two coins so far. Right. Oh, come on, Marion. Why'd you go up that wall? I meant to go up that wall. Come on. That's a lot better. Right. I'm further forward on the screen at this point. That's all right. It's funny with that section. I didn't see the piranha creepers to the last second. I didn't really expect them to be there. I know they're there this time though. Right, that's better. Well, I missed the coin. It wasn't a bad effort, actually. I'll give it a like at this point. That was really unlucky. You can just about make it up there with a spin, I would have thought, but we need the cat suit. Right, there we go. Right, it's a lot. Oh man, I had it that time. Come on. Right, that's a bit better. Now for this part. That was good. And there we go, we've beaten the level. Well, that was okay. You had to sort of learn the level though before you could really beat it. Especially the Piranha Creeper part. Those Piranha Creepers only appear at the last second. I can't really speed around that level. Since it's auto scroll. I like how my time is 666 and the world record's 333. Now I could probably get that world record, but it's pretty much going to be the same run as I just did. So we're going to move on to the next level now. Right, so here's the next level 90 second, 99 lives, castle crash. 
This level has been described as trash. With no clears yet, and the only thing I know is you have to collect 99 extra lives to beat the level. I'm going to give it a go right now. I'm a bit concerned about this one. I think this might end up making me rage. But never mind, we'll see how I go with the level. Right. Let's think about it. So the blocks sort of come out of nowhere. Right. One ups are spread out all over the level. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of spam. Crikey. That's not particularly difficult. Difficulty comes from the fact that there's all those Bowsers, one up mushrooms all over the place. Oh my. I'm not sure what to say. I can't see me playing this level for very long. Holy. And there's bad levels, and then there's this. This could well be the worst level I've ever seen on the game. Crikey. It's just spam central. There's even coins and what? There's a box in the corner. Wow. It's just, ah, oh my goodness. I mean, it would be possibly okay without the Bowsers, but the bows are constantly firing at you, and then just... Oh, man. I'm still alive. I mean, like that, I didn't... <laughs> yeah. I had 84 one-up mushrooms. That wasn't a bad attempt. I'm not sure there's any point of those pink coins. I have a pink coin there. Right, hold on. Oh man! Oh, that wasn't a bad effort actually. Nah, actually, I still think my level was probably worse than this, in all fairness. Jeez. This is Spam Central. Extra life spam with Bowser spam. Lovely combination, as you all know. Might be able to see what's in that key box though, a bit of luck. There we go, Cooper Trooper spam here. Oh, come on. I really want to see what's in that key box. It'd probably be something hideous. I missed one of the one-up marshals. I'm not expecting to beat this anyway. Had to wait. I was too slow. That's it. There we go. And then you go through the block and 
Bullet Bill launcher gets you. Try it again. It might be manageable without the clear condition, you see. I think I'm actually quite near the end of the level. Yeah. Without the clear condition, this would probably be manageable. But as far as I'm concerned, I've beaten the level. So I'm going to exit out at this point. Yeah, I don't think I have the patience to beat this. It would also test my sanity to the absolute limit with that Bowser all over the place. So, I think it's time to move on. Alright, so here's the next level. I'm a little bit concerned about that clear rate. Only one clear as well. So, I think this is going to be quite difficult. It's also described as a terrifying boss. Ooh, dear. Right, here we go. Terrifying boss. Probably going to be a Meowser as that's... Was the item, the enemy, should I say, that was used. I've got to break at least six crates. That's a very, very strange clear condition. And I've already missed one of them, so... Right. Let's get that crate that was at the start first now. One, two, there. I wonder why you'd have such a strange clear condition in the level. I managed to get three now. I'm not sure where the third one came from. That's four. So, damage boost through? I guess you have no... Didn't work. Right, I know how to do this. Use the bullets to take out the... Piranha Creeper. Well, that was close. Whoa, come on. Now again, I should have kept the mushroom really at this point. Right, that's good, that's good. That's not good, I've fallen down. Okay, spin up. That's it, I've got five done. One more crate. I see where the crate is. I have absolutely no idea how you're supposed to destroy it though. Now I know how to do it. Right, here we go. That was feeble, that effort. It went straight into the lava. Right, let's try again. Yeah. Right, I will get this. It's all about getting the timing right. Ooh, from about here, I think. 
Maybe here. You gotta be really precise to be able to hit that crate. Might be an easier way of doing this, but... Oh, it just goes into the lava. Off the wall. No. Fast off the wall. Let's try it really hard on the wall and see. Oh, somehow. So where's the key? Where's the key? Oh, there we go. Oh, right, we're getting there. That was evil. All the level, and then you've got this absolutely ridiculous looking boss. I'm going to give that another go. You need to keep the mushroom until that point. Right, that's four. Five, and now we try this again. So the easiest way to do this was to throw it hard against the wall. There we go. And we have the end boss. The end boss is just ridiculous. thing is you've got to do all of this again each time you play the level I don't think I've got the patience for this so we're gonna move on to the next stage now I don't want to be redoing this over and over just to try a boss that I'm probably not gonna be able to do so there we go we're gonna try the next stage now Alright, so here we go with the next level. There's no description for this level. It's just called Jim from bottom to top. 38 second world record. Quite a high clear rate as well. Let's see how well I do with this. Here we go. Oh wow, is that... Ooh. Okay, that's a little bit unexpected with enemies at the start. I think there's a clear addition. Oh my. I'm glad there's a safety net at the bottom. That helps a lot. Actually, I don't even think you have to go the top route. Alright, let's see what you have to do. Just go through. Definitely don't. What? Uh. Mario just went face straight into the wall and then straight down. That's the best way to get past the Cooper Troopers. I'm going to try going the upper route. Yeah, there's absolutely no point to this upper route. Must just go the lower route. Right, so the way to do this part is surely to long jump. By the way, those bullet bills just randomly stop. We're going to have to do it with a long jump. Okay. 
Long jump doesn't work. That start's quite fun. There's Cooper Shoes just appear out of nowhere. Tons of them. Alright, so this time they've all disappeared. I'm just gonna... There we go. Do it the easy way. Again, that's the way to do it, just jump. Oh yeah, got to love all those, oh my. Yeah, I'm not sure about this ending. It seems a bit uh, spammy. Let's see if I can get past meows or though. Hopefully you will get out of the way in a minute. There we go. All right, what's the blocks then? That must be the correct one. There we go. Right, so there's all the coins after you've actually beaten the level, which is a bit random. But there we go. That wasn't a bad stage, actually. The ending was um, a bit of a spam fest, but overall that was pretty fun. I think I will try and speed run this one. I don't know if I'll be able to beat 38 seconds, maybe because of that ending, but I will try and see what I can do. Alright, so here we go, the next stage, Snowdrops on Kittens, 12 ICO 5. Now, from what I know, this is another garbage level. Janky 90 seconds speed run. Only four likes on it, which is a little bit concerning. No clears either. So I'm probably going to end up rage quitting this one. We will see as I play it, though, which I'm doing right now. Here we go. No, that block. Oh, wait a sec. What? Um. Well, that was a good start, wasn't it? Right, are you even supposed to get the coins? I think the coins are just a decoy. I mean, you can't get that. Absolutely no way you could get that. Right, let's ignore the coins and actually play the level. Okay, well this has been designed basically just to annoy you by the looks of it. Because that changes just as you make it to the blocks. So, how on earth are you supposed to do it? Right, so you have to delay it a little bit at the start in order to make it onto the blocks. Well, that's good level design. That's amazing level design. Right, okay. Delay, delay. Didn't delay it enough. Right. Yeah, no kidding when they said it was janky. Ultra janky. That's what this stage is. 
Oh, there we go. What? You can't even get across in the time. Oh, hold on. I've actually done the first part. I need to bring the crates across. This stage is unbelievable. It's just, there's no way I can get across. Oh, man. Ready to rage quit already. This is a nightmare. This definitely wins the award for one of the most annoying levels I've ever played. I mean, how are you even supposed to do this? Look, the jumps, you can't jump far enough. And that, oh man, and then the Bowser appears, just to be even more annoying. Wow. Let's have another look at this. I mean, there's absolutely no way you can do anything in that room. It's just a trap. Right. I think we're just about done with this level. I've got nothing more to say. I have no idea how to do the part after this with the crates. Man, I thought my level was bad. Crikey, this is on another level. It's like some sort of troll level that's been designed by a five-year-old. Yeah, I'm done. I am done with this level. I will not be playing this one again. It's driving me insane. Yeah, I think we have seen enough as well. You all know what I think of the level. I'll give it a like anyway, just because I'm nice. But I'm exiting out right now. Alright, so moving swiftly on with the next level, 12IC5 Styrofoam Walls. Okay, we are the anxiety that fills your sleep. Hmm, interesting. Only four clears, but I have beaten these sorts of clear rate levels in five to ten minutes before. Let's see how I do. I think this may be another hot garbage level. We will see that as I play it. What the? Oh, this is extremely weird. I mean, this could be the weirdest level I've ever seen. What earth? One thing, it does look nice. That's for sure. Right. Man. It's just, it's so quiet. It's so weird with the silence. Ah, okay. So the shell only got to there. Am I supposed to get the coins? Right, I have no idea if I'm supposed to get the coins or not. I'm going to go for this coin anyway, as I don't really have another option. I guess I got the far right, but... 
And now we just wait here. Well, there's a cannon at the end. I'm not even sure I'm supposed to get the coins, that's the thing. Oh, you got stuck. Mario, really? The world record was 1 minute 9, and this is taking nearly a minute in itself, so I think the pink coins are just a decoy. I've still got to get back, though, so... Right, we're nearly there. Okay, and we're there. Right, so the logical thing to do would be to go up this side. So I'm guessing this is the correct route. Man. It's taking a long time, as you can see. You know what? I don't think you're even supposed to go this way. Oh, no. Come on. didn't go for it. Yes, 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 yes. I made it. Oh, right, we're there. Well, at least I think we are. Is there a clear condition on this? Oh, yeah, there was. Get all five of the pink coins. Not pink coins, the big coins. Well, there's another pink coin. Oh, well, here we go. You get all this distance, and now we've got a Bowser. Well, what am I just... Oh no, what's the blocks? Oh, the goal. Are you having a laugh? All that effort, and then... Well. You ended up there. That was brilliant. Oh, oh I'm going to give this one more go at most. Didn't even have the coins to beat the level anyway. But I think you can sort of cheese it with a shell. Oh, wait a sec, yeah. I'll just get rid of it like that. So I could try this route now. Well, I could try this. Oh. Not the way the Cooper Troopers randomly die on the blocks. Right. Bullet Bill Launcher. What? I'm sure our oh, timing was just rubbish. Right, 
Oh no. Oh wait a second, there's a coin down there. I didn't even know that until I fell down. I'm not even sure if you need the coins. I didn't see any block. Warp block. That had a key on it. Or should I say, should I had a lock on it. So I think the pink coins are still a decoy unless they lead to the coins that you need to beat the level with. You can kill one of those with a bullet bill like that. That makes it a bit easier. I have to get past this. Right. So what I should have done to start... Oh! I found cheese. I have found cheese. Oh, wait a sec. So you can cheese that section. Right, now we get to this part. Now for the Bowser battle at the end. Bowser spam. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this end part is just a nightmare. Yeah, I think we're going to leave the level at this point. It's, it's a very strange level. I wouldn't describe it as total garbage. I'll describe it as really weird. I don't know if I'm going to beat this one or not yet. It depends. I'm going to have a good look at the level though. If I'm able to beat it, you can see my clear run after this. Otherwise, I'm going to move on to the next level. Alright, so here's the next level, labelled as Lava Falls. No description for this one, standard short and sweet. Just over 7% clear rate, here we go, let's play the level. Hopefully this won't be too difficult. We will see as I play it though. Alright. I was waiting for the Piranha Creeper to get out of the way. Ah, pink coin, right, get that. Okay, wait for the blocks to change. Oh, that was a little bit close. I couldn't really see what was down there until I'd already jumped. It's okay though, I didn't die. And there we go, beating the level on the first try. So yeah, nothing particularly difficult there, pretty straightforward basic level. 
I'll give it a like. So what's the world record? 27 seconds. Hopefully I'll be able to get reasonably close to that. So let's see what I can do. All right, it's been quite a long journey as always, but I'm finally at the last level. 12 IC round five lava proof blasters. Well, it's got seven clears on it, 2.06% clear rate. That's not too bad, hopefully. Let's see as I play the level, here we go. Right, so this first part's just jumping along the... Cr oh, the lava's rising, okay. Right, so I need to get that coin. Or at least I think I do. Right, that's good. Cat bell here. Careful the creeper, the lava's rising. Oh, I see the crates. I didn't see the crates until after I jumped. I'm just going to make a mad dash for it, I think. Right. The lava's going back down again. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, that... I didn't mean to do that. That was... Unbelievably lucky. Right, I survived. Okay, that's three coins. I'm doing okay. I've got away with somehow surviving. Not really sure how. Right, careful. Oh, what? Why is there a Bowser there? You can't just to get past him. Out of all the places to put a cat bowser. Right, well, there's too much in the way of enemies here. I can see another coin. Right, I've got the coin. I took damage, but it doesn't matter. Right, I've got to be really careful. Oh, come on. That's better. Right, ground pound it. Nice. That's the last coin. Oh, wow. So the problem here is, it, what happens if you miss one of the coins? There's no way to go back. But I've beaten it anyway. I've beaten it on the first try. That was more luck than anything. I'm being honest. Especially considering how low the clear rate was. I'm pretty pleased with that. Alright, let's give it a like. So now to try and speed run the level. I think that's going to be quite hard as some of the sections have a lot of enemies in. I'll see what I can do.
Okay, and that marks the end of my playthrough for this round of the 12 item challenge. I was not able to complete all of the levels, but I did give them all a good go. Overall, I enjoyed playing the levels. I have deleted the level I created. Feel free to check out one of my videos on the channel that shows what happened when I deleted that level with all the booze on it. Also, feel free to check out any of my other videos if you want to do so. And thanks for watching.